Hey everyone, Sebastian here from Green Music Productions. Have you ever dreamed about being able to take any song that you like and extract all the different instruments as stem? Uh, either to do a remix or just to listen to the different instruments separately or even to create a karaoke track that you can sing on? Well, today I'm reviewing Ripix Deep Audio by Hit and Mix and it's supposed to be able to do just that and even more. But before we dive in, let's hear about today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. With thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, video, freelancing, and obviously music. Whether it's music theory, learning an instrument, music production, even the music business, there's a ton of content on there. There's even specific things like how to make beats, how to design great synth sounds, or even Cubase specific videos. To give you an example, I've been following this class by Will Edwards called Wavetable Sound Design Strategy, and it's really insightful. It gives you a lot of tools to create better synth sounds. Now most classes are under 60 minutes with short lesson to fit any schedule. So I'll leave a link in the description below. The first thousand people to use the link will get a free one month trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Make sure to check it out and keep learning. So this is what the layout looks like. It's super simple to understand for me because it kind of looks like the editor window in Cubase or even like Melodyne where we have a keyboard here on the left. So we understand that these lines represent notes. We have our tools over here here and different options on top. It's so easy to use, you basically just drag and drop a WAV or MP3 file into Ripix and it's going to examine that file and extract all the instrument. Now it's asking me if I want to use the previously ripped uh, version of this one because I already ripped this track. I'm just going to click no to show you what it's going to ask you. First, it's asking you the type of recording. So if it's a full mix or single instrument, in this case, it is a full mastered mix with multiple instruments. It's then asking you what to extract. So voice, bass, other sound and instrument drums and percussion and you also have a speed versus quality dial if you want it to be super fast you can but always go for maximum quality in this case it's going to take five minutes but i'm going to spare you the wait because i already did the ripping over here yeah as i said it kind of looks like melodyne it already color coded the different instruments it looks a bit messy for now, but it's super easy to understand because we have all of the detected instruments over here. So it detected voice, guitar, bass, violin, bass drum, drums, percussions, and other. So before we start, let's listen to a small part of the original song. I have it here in my session so we can compare them. So this is just a small clip just to know what we're dealing with. So we have all the usual instruments, obviously vocals, drums, bass, guitar, synth. Uh, so let's take a look at how Ripix did. First, let's listen to the bass track and solo. If you solo any instrument, uh, it will be the only instrument that you see right here. And you can obviously click on the different notes to listen to them. But let's press play and see how it sounds like. So as you can see, the bass is a bit distorted, um, but it did a really good job at identifying the bass track only. And what's super powerful is that you can always change the pitch. Let's say I want this note instead. And you can always change the timing as well. So if it's not super tight, you can move it around just like that. So this is extremely powerful. I never thought that we would be able to do that in a full mastered stereo file uh, to extract all the different instruments and edit them on the fly like this. And the crazy part is you can even drop pitch curve if you want. So let's say this note, I would like it to ramp up instead. 
I can just select the pitch tool right here and just draw a, a ramp. So let's listen to it with the rest of the instrument. Now that's obviously weird because I didn't pay attention to the pitch, but it's super powerful and creative what you can do. But that's not all. You can also change uh, the existing instrument by something else. So let's say I use the vocal track over here and I want to replace uh, this note right here with an alto saxophone. Uh, there's a tool for that. It's called the Replace Sound Tool. You just select the instrument from over here and you click on the different clips that you would like to change. So let's select this one. So let's listen to the vocals uh, solo. So the crazy thing is that it kept the lower octave vocals, but it just replaced the higher one. So because I just selected the higher one, so it's really powerful. Let's try a different instrument for fun. Let's try a violin uh, on this note right here. Let's listen with uh, the beginning. So I'll just unsolo the vocals and we will listen to it with the rest of the, the instrument. That's so cool. I really like the fact that we can easily replace different instrument by something else if we want. Now, another cool thing is it's super easy to sample. Let's say you're looking for the snare drum in that track. Let's say you're listening to a track, you really like the snare or the kick drum and you want to sample it. Well, this tool extracted the different instruments. So it's really easy to just grab specific hits if you want and reuse them in your track and that's not all uh, as you saw it detected the voice but we can always mute the vocals and just listen to the whole track without vocals so we can do a karaoke track if we want <laughs> Let's unmute it just to show you. That's really, really cool. Uh, we can just remove specific instrument on the fly. Uh, let's try um, to also just solo the um, bass drum, drums and percussion, just to listen to what the drum sounds like once it, it extracted the whole thing. That's really good. Let's compare it to uh, what we have in the original session right here. So obviously we lose a bit of the reverb and a tiny bit of definition, but it's pretty good what it can do. Um, and we have an other track, so the definition that we lost is probably in other, so there's always ways to incorporate the other track as well. Let's listen to it. Yep. And the powerful thing is there's also obviously the regular editing tool like uh, Denoiser and so many other tools that you can use with this. It's super powerful. I'll leave a link to their website in the description. So far, I'm really enjoying it. I've only used it for two hours, but it's mind-blowing what it can do, really. Uh, so feel free to try out the, uh, the, the free demo on their website. There's also a lot more content on their YouTube channel if you want to see everything that it can do. Um, feel free to check it out. As usual, if you like that kind of content, click the like button and subscribe and see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.